All right, hey, Mike McGroarty here from Mike'sBackyardNursery.com. I want to take a minute to kind of explain to you exactly what we do in the members area because right now we, the members area is open. So it's uh, we're gonna. I'm shooting this video. I don't know what May 22nd, something like that. Um, to give you an idea, I've I've been potting stuff up around here. Um, well, we've been potting stuff here since April, and we're we're getting further and further behind because people just keep buying and buying and buying. You know, and I'm, I'm going to grab the camera from Pam, and I'll kind of give you an idea of, you know, we've got, I mean, we just have open areas everywhere where stuff has been completely sold out. You can see this is, we have our sections number, but that's section five over there. I add, We actually added a section, a section to it where I dug a bunch of Japanese maples that were there. So I guess my point is is that we're always looking for plants that we can uh, that we can pot up. We we do a lot of our own propagation, but there's a lot of stuff that we just can't do, we can't keep up with. So and so I anytime I need something that you know to give you an idea of some like bridal respirea. I had a customer come here a couple years ago and ask for bridal respirea. So I went to the members area and I'm like, hey, I need some bridal respirea. I think somebody had like seven, eight, or nine, or ten of them. So I, I, I bought them, probably for a buck and a half a piece at the most. Potted them up, and then we started taking cuttings and propagating. Now this is one of the ones right here. I just planted this in the ground this morning because I can't get ahead on this plant. So I'm going to put a couple in the ground that way I have them here permanently, and I can always take cuttings from them. So I'm. So far today, I've planted some Techni Arborvita to they're going to be in the ground permanently. I've potted, or I've planted, uh, I've got three snow mounts, I mean, uh, all summer, summer snowflake by Burnham that I'm putting in the ground, so I got something to take cuttings from. And I put seven Techni Arborvita in the ground that we're going to use for cuttings. All right, we're ready. So anyway, I'll kind of give you a, a little guided tour here right here i've got a bunch of burning bush you can see them um they're loaded with cuttings burning bush is very very easy to root it's a great seller and then right next to that you see the the orange and yellow gold flame spirea right in front of that this is java red white julia and i'll show you some of those in bloom gold mound spirea I don't have a single one somehow we ran out so I've got good thing I got a couple planted up in one of the landscapes flower on what all oh, the viburnums yeah that's the summer this is the summer snowflake viburnum you see I set three of them up there on a board I'm gonna plant those permanently this is all we have left we had about 200 of them but this thing starts blooming now and it will bloom all summer so my point is there's people will always buy this stuff from you you know you can sell in the members area the summer snowflake by burnham i hardly ever see that in there gold flame spirea is available but it's such a hot seller people it's just completely sell out of it right now there's a guy in there looking for um, more bridal respirea he's got customers asking for him he doesn't have them so Oh, so we got some blueberries, raspberries are always hot sellers. People are always looking for that kind of stuff. Some more gold flame. Stop right there. Now, way back in the back, that's um, Rheingold Arborvita. So that's a great, it's an evergreen. It's burnt orange in color. Really, really popular plant. Very easy to propagate. This purple sand cherry, we did those as hardwood cuttings. Um, great seller. But you can see that most of this stuff we just propagated, so it's not it's not quite big enough to sell. You know, we're we're getting further behind instead of ahead of it. That's how fast things are selling. Coral bells is a great seller. A lot of coral bells are patented, but there are probably at least five pretty nice ones that are not patented, and those are the ones that we need to do a lot of. And I'll show you up front. So let's head up that way. Here we've got some blue girl holly. It's about all those that we got left. So we're going to take a little golf cart tour. So over here we have two crazy mules. They're supposed to be mowing for Richard next door. 
And you can see I got lavender twist weeping red bud planted here and um, Japanese red maples all along that I really don't want to sell. That's why they're in the ground. This, go this is the golden curls willow. But we're going to stop here. Let me show you. These are two of my favorite hosts of all time. And it were super hot sellers. Um, and this, this mouse ears, to the best of my knowledge, is not patented. And people are looking for it constantly. So you don't have to do, you don't have to have a big area. Mini skirt is similar to that, but right now it's still under patent. But that but I can still I buy them is um, in a small court or not in a court, but in a in a little 72 pack. But you don't have to have a big nursery. You can do just a little bit of this stuff along the way. And uh, here, let's stop here. Look at this dappled willow. This thing is amazing. This thing was getting too big. So I cut it right to the ground this spring, and you can see there's a sumac tree coming up in there, so we'll terminate that. But anyway, this is dappled willow. Just look at the color on that. This thing is super easy to propagate and grows like crazy. So we, I have one of them here that I use to get cuttings. We got water running here to add to our adventure. Slow down right here, right underneath this, this sprinkler in the end. That's the... Uh, the bridal respirea that we just potted up the other day. That's all I have. And this weekend, people will buy them like crazy. Uh, we got palabin lilac along the board here that are just coming into bloom. Pardon? Yeah, and that Angelina sedum, that stuff grows like crazy. It makes a really nice ground cover. Got more Rheingold arborvita. We're going to hopefully this water will shut off here in a second. Yeah, let me out and I'll walk around and we'll wait on the water so anyway here's the thing matter of fact let me show you right here well but any anyway if you look on, on the other side of this planting area and the other side of the sprinkler you see the little tiny pink uh flower shoots that is um snow angel euchara it's a coral bells so what we and i did a video you can find that video we did it last summer and where we propagate and we just tear them to shreds and then we put them in our in our propagation area um, and within a matter of weeks they are all rooted so you can see right here and right in front of me these are ones that we took out of the propagation area and just potted up um, last week within probably you know four or five days ago some on the way there's some over here when this water shuts off Try to show you these Wygelia. Well, we're gonna kind of chill for a second. So anyway, what you need to think about is not doing this giant, you know, nursery like I have here. You you can do this in a very very small spot in your yard at home, and just do what you can manage. It, it doesn't have to be complicated. It can be very very simple. You could start out with three or four different plants. As you can see, I showed you that uh, the dappled willow. This water is timed. I cycle the water, so it, it shuts off. It, it runs, I don't know, maybe it runs for five minutes and then rests. And, and I was kind of hoping that it would shut right off so we could get on with this video. But anyway, you know, I showed you the dappled willow. The one I had over there is very, very pretty. It's earlier in this video. Here's the, the uh, bridal respirea. I started with just a handful of plants. This, I'm going to show you the snow, snow angel coral bells, and I'll tell you the story behind it. I had a bunch of these in my, good, the water shut off. Um, I had a bunch of these in my landscape at home. I divided them up, I brought them here, and I sold them. And one of my customers down in central Ohio, she came and bought a bunch from me. Next thing you know, I was out. I was completely out of snow angel coral bells. So I posted online, and she's like, I got 80, I'll sell them to you. So I sold her two plants. From those two, she got hundreds and hundreds. She only had 80 left when I contacted her. So I bought those 80 and I planted them down here at the end of this bed. But anyway, here's the these are the these are Wygelia that we rooted. We bundled them up. They're begging to be potted. We just don't have time to get them potted right now. And we have other things. So that's Tango. And this is Java right here, Java Red. Two really, really nice Wygelias. Right behind those, that's some dappled willow that we just potted up. 
We talked about dappled willow. This is an area where we heal in grasses. I'm kind of done with grasses. They just don't work well for me. So anyway, these are the, these are the coral bells. Snow angel is not patented. Very, very easy to propagate. And you can see right behind here, these are the ones that, some of the ones that we just potted up. So, you know, it's amazing that my customer bought two of these, sold me 80, and now I think we potted 250, and this is what we still have left to, to divide. We'll get probably, we probably got those 250 out of five or six plants. So let's walk over this way, because I'll show you the hardwood cuttings to show you how simple and easy this is. So here, this is more Java Red. These are in quart containers. We sell these for $5.97 a piece. So that's Java Red White Gelia. This one here is um, Variegated White Gelia. Really interesting flower on this one. They're just, all these White Gelia are just starting to bloom. They're kind of a little bit late this year because it's been cool. So these are our hardwood cuttings. And we did all of our hardwood cuttings early spring this year because we just, um, I just thought I'd try them that way. So anyway, these are Annabelle Hydrangea. We stuck one note, single node cuttings. Over there, there's some on the end. That's the dappled willow cuttings that we got off of the, uh, the plant that I showed you back there. These are purple sand cherry hardwood cuttings. Uh, Rosa Sharon. And then we did one flat of Golden Curls Willow. Not one of my favorite plants, but I need to have a few around here. So these are, these are the Annabelles. These things will be rooted and ready to pot probably a little bit later in the summer. These are Annabelles in quartz. We're selling those for $5.97. Um, they should go into a three gallon and, and be worth $15 and again time is time So right this is a bunch of emerald green arborvita. We need to get those potted into one gallons Boxwoods that we did as cuttings now if you look back here See those arborvita those are dark green arborvita and then I just planted a few techni arborvita We'll use those. I think there's seven of them there. We'll use those for cuttings this summer. And I put 52 of them in the field back there specifically to use for cuttings. I planted those dark green over here. You can see one of them. We just ravished it for cuttings. That's why I put them there. A lot of times we'll just completely sacrifice the plant. These, these dark green arborvitae, they were just ugly, scraggly plants that, um, that were the last of what we had. So I planted them here to use for cuttings. But... That's what, that's the secret of this business. It's self-perpetuating. You know, you just keep getting more and more plants from the plants that you have. So here's some gold flame spirea that are in quartz. They really need to be shifted up. Um, and again, this is our propagation area. It's very, very messy because we're kind of pulling stuff out of here. This is uh, Shirobana spirea little princess spirea these are we got these bundled up in 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 bunches so they're ready to pull out of there more tango wygelia more java wygelia there's some annabelle hydrangea down there snow mound spirea over there and a little and then there's a whole bunch of emerald green arborvita over there that need to come out and get potted up and i think these are dark green arborvita here without looking at the tag all that stuff has to come out and get potted up but Again, very, very easy. And my, my point to you is just start with a very, very small area and you can pretty quickly figure out what people are always looking for on the board. And even if they're not looking for it, new members are, are just eager to buy whatever they can to get started. So it's, it's a perpetual cycle. There's always people looking to buy plants. There's people in your local area looking to buy plants. Um, you'll see when you get in there, we've got members that have shipped hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and probably i mean i know i got members that, that sell 40 50 60 80 thousand dollars worth of plants a year just in the members area so anyway there's a link right below this video um i'm mike mcgrordy from mikesbackyardnursery.com 
Here's Pam going to grab the camera. So anyway, right below the video, there's a, there's a link. The test drive is $7. So take the test drive. Seven bucks for 30 days. If it's not for you, just let us know. You know, Dustin will, will cancel you like that and you'll never get billed again. But it, you, you owe it to yourself to at least get in there and find out what it's all about. And it's a great place to buy plants. You can buy Japanese maples. You can buy lilacs. You can buy just about anything that you're looking for. So anyway, I'm about done rambling here. Uh, the link's down below. Mike McGrory from Mike's Backyard Nursery.com.